Personal Computer Added Manufacturing. I am Neha Joshi, Assistant Professor in Mechanical Engineering Department at LG Institute of Engineering and Technology. Let's start with our seventh chapter that is Computer Integrated Production, Production Management System. In previous session, we discussed our third chapter that is Programmable Logic Controller. In that, we discussed what is PLC, radar diagram for the PLC logic design, logic gate for the PLC logic design, and truth table for the PLC logic design. In today's session, we will cover different topics like production planning and control, then objective of production planning and control, and function of production planning and control, then problem with traditional uh, pro uh, production planning and control. Now, planning for the manufacturing organization. Any manufacturing organization start its activities with the preparation of plants. The plants are prepared at two levels. First one is management level and second one is factory level. Okay? So according to the planning are broadly classified into two types. First one is business planning and second one is production planning and control. Now what is business planning? Business plan is the statement of the organization at the top management level. It is a macro level plan which defines the business activity the company would take up in the next plan period from 1 to 5 years. Then uh, the product the company would launch in next plan period, the monthly, quarterly and annual demand and supply during the plan period and the expected quarterly or annual return over during the plan period. So this is what about the business planning. Okay. Now what is uh, production planning and the control? Production planning and the control is the next level that is factory level. It converts the business plan into a more concrete form. The production planning and control deal with the forecasting of sales, the detailing of, and of the variety of product, quantity and time of manufacturing of the product, procurement of the raw material, the planning of the main power, machine and other resources, the planning of manufacturing, scheduling and dispatch, uh, in production planning and control, the planning of the production activities and control of the factory resources must go hand in hand. It is futile to plan the production if there is no control of the factory resources and it is ineffective to control the factory resources if there is no plan against which the progress of the factory can be compared. A production planning and control including material requirement planning, parts procurement, warehouse management, production accounting and production control as you can see here. Now we will discuss objective of the production planning and control. Now first objective is minimizing cost and maximizing the profits. The production planning and control department should aim at minimizing the cost without compromising the quality. This will automatically result in maximizing the profit. Next is maximizing customer satisfaction. Now in today's uh, buyer's market, satisfying the customer is the most important criteria for the success of the company. Third objective is maximizing resource utilization. The production planning and control must aim at maximizing the utilization of available resources like factory machinery and workforce. The PPC team uh, should take into account the strength and weakness of the existing plant setup while planning. Now, fourth objective is minimizing change in plant setup. While planning for the new product or business, the production planning and control department should aim at minimizing the change in plant setup, like factory layout, machinery, and workforce. The changes in plant setup will add to the extra cost. Therefore, the new business or project should be planned such that it can be implemented with minimum addition of resources. And the last objective is minimizing inventory. More inventory means more money block in idle material. Minimizing the inventory reduces the block money which make more capital available for the productive investment. So, these are the objective of the production planning and control. Now here you can see block diagram demonstrating the various function of the production planning and control. Now first function is sales forecasting. The sales forecasting deal with the predicting, analyzing and projecting the future sales of the product of the company. 
The number of vital decision and investment are made based on the project forecast. The forecasting requires detailed market survey and analysis. The long term forecast for five or more years ahead are used in making the decision about the plan to construction and equipment purchases. The intermediate ranges forecasted for one or three years ahead are used in making the decision about equipment purchase, main power recruitment, and long lead time materials. And the short term forecast for three or six months ahead are used in making the decision about the material procurement, production, and scheduling. Now, second one is production planning. Production planning is a macro level planning and objective is to decide the production level for different products for the period of six months to one year. It is based on the sales forecast and the capacity of the factory. It used to increase the production, decrease the production or maintain the production level of a particular production product based on the sales forecast. Third, is, uh, uh, third function is the process planning. Now, process planning is that function within a manufacturing facility that, that establishes a sequence of manufacturing process and process parameter required to convert the work material from its initial form to the final form, as defined by the drawing. The process planning includes selection of manufacturing processes and tools, selection of manufacturing machine or machine tools, sequencing of operations, grouping of operations, selection of jig fixtures, selection of inspection instrument, selection of tolerance and surface areas, then determination of cutting uh, parameters like speed, feed for each operation, then determination of the machining and non-machining time. Okay for each operation and the preparation of process planning sheet uh, or a room sheet okay so in short process planning serves as an interface between design and manufacturing the fourth function is estimating okay so it involves the estimation of production cost of unit estimation of manufacturing lead, uh, lead time this function is important for determining the selling price of the component the estimation of the production cost and lead time are based on the data and group sheet purchase file and accounting records. The fifth function is master scheduling. Now, master scheduling functions deal with the preparation of delivery time schedule for the product. It specifies how many units of each product are to be delivered and when. Okay, so it helps in preparing material requirement planning, purchasing and machine loading and scheduling. The next step is material requirement planning. Now, material require pla uh, requirement planning is a function which converts the master scheduling into a detailed schedule for the procurement of the raw material and vendor manufacture component. Okay, so material requirement planning defines the quantities of each raw material and vendor manufacturer components. It also defines the timing of placing the order and delivery. The material requirement planning help in purchasing the material and inventory control. The next function is purchasing. The raw materials and components from the vendor are purchased as per the time schedule of the material requirement planning. It is the function of the purchase department. Now next one is machine loading and scheduling. The production scheduling involves the planning for each component. It plans the starting date and due date for each component. While carrying out the function of production scheduling of a component, the availability of machine must, uh, must be taken into the account. The machine loading deals with the allocation of different jobs to the machine. In machine loading, the sequence of the job to be machined on each machine is prepared. Okay. Uh, next function is dispatching. Now, dispatching deals with the issuing the orders to each machine's operator. It involves issuing the root sheet, part drawing, job instruction, and raw material. Okay, so next function is expediting. Expediting is a function of comparing the actual progress of particular order with the production schedule. This function is performed by expeditor. If the progress of the particular order fall behind the schedule, the expeditor recommends a corrective action. Okay, the next function is quality assurance. Quality assurance is a function of assuring the quality of the product. Quality assurance department has to ensure that product meets the standard specified by the engineer. This function can be accomplished by implementing the quality check at all stages from the purchase of the raw material till the packaging and dispatching of the final product. 
Next function of the PPC, traditional PPC is sipping. The sipping is the final step in the production planning and control. Sipping means sending the final product to the customer. And last one is inventory control. Inventory control ensures that enough quantity of the product of each type is available in store to satisfy the customer demand. Inventory control is applied not only to final product but also to the raw material. Effective inventory control ensures that inventory is maintained at the minimum level at the same time it should not affect the supply side. So these are the different functions of traditional production planning and control. Now we will discuss problem with traditional production planning and control. Now first one is incorrect estimation of plant capacity. In traditional production planning and control, there is a lack of integration of all functions. Therefore, updated data is not available centrally. This may be result in incorrect estimation of the plant capacity. This underestimation or overestimation of the plant capacity by the production planning and control department may lead to the faulty production plan. Okay. So second one is improper master schedule. Known availability of updated data centrally may lead to the mistake in master scheduling. The error in master scheduling result in producing the product with lower priority first, while the product with higher priority are kept in waiting. This will disturb the delivery schedule and lead to the customer complaint and dissatisfaction. Now, third uh, problem is underutilization of resources. Due to improper master scheduling, the plant management may implement sudden and frequent product changeover. This leads to excessive setup time which disturbs the flow of production and the plant will produce much less than what, is, what it is capable of. Next one is the disturbance in process plan. The planned process planning may be disturbed and is to be suppressed by another process plan. This happens in emergency situation arising due to improper master scheduling. Now, next one is inefficient inventory control. The bad production planning and master scheduling bring efficiency in inventory control function. Okay, uh, the inefficient inventory control is on the raw material side as well as finished product side. Next uh, is substandard quality. The components or product produced through the faulty production planning, faulty master scheduling and ad hoc process planning may have manufacturing as well as assembly defects. This is result in rejection, rework and delay in the uh, delaying shipment. Okay. And the last term is a problem with the traditional purposes, errors in record. Because of the faulty process, the process sheet are not updated, the bill of material are not correct and inventory records are not up to date. Thus, there are errors record, uh, errors in record at all level. Okay, so this is what about the traditional production planning and control functions which are used in traditional production planning and control and the uh, problem associated with the traditional production planning and control. Thank you for watching this video.